In the fall of 2018, the Hakai Institute is pleased to introduce the MARNA Lab, a one-of-a-kind scientific platform, the new lab at our ecological observatory on Quadra Island is filled with equipment that will elevate our science to new heights. In a word, mesocosms. The mesocosms will allow us to mimic a natural ocean environment while controlling every aspect of the water from pH and aragonite saturation level to temperature and salinity. By precisely controlling these environmental factors, the MARNA Lab will be a powerhouse facility for marine experimentation. With the changing climate and the ocean getting more acidic, the MARNA Lab will allow us to test current theory in ways that are not possible in the field, moving from correlation to causation. Let's take a look at how the MARNA Lab will achieve this. Our facilities here on Quadra Island are Oceanside, a huge advantage for an undertaking like this. The first step in setting up an aquatic mesocosm is to draw up seawater and pass it through a cascade of filters. Here in the pump room, sand and bag filters in these tanks remove all cells, including bacteria. Then, the water passes under ultraviolet light to kill any viruses that might remain. Almost 2,000 gallons of filtered water can be stored in these massive insulated tanks to supply our 40 mesocosms inside the lab. Right now, oyster hatcheries and shellfish farmers all along the coast are facing catastrophic die-offs during farming season, a phenomenon that threatens their livelihoods. Here in the MARNA lab, we want to find out what's causing these die-offs. Given what we know, we think it might be connected to upwelling. To test this, one of the first experiments in the lab will look at how rising corrosive water may be the cause of these die-offs. These baby oysters, which are about the size of a peppercorn, will stay in these mesocosm tanks for the duration of the experiment as they grow to their full size. And no, we aren't sending oysters to space. In order to feed the shellfish that will live in the tanks, we use these space-age looking reactors that house cultured algae. The algae will be released in controlled amounts to feed the shellfish. The MARNA Lab is a cutting-edge tool for studying anything from ocean acidification to shellfish, salmon, invertebrates, microbes and plankton. There's no shortage of what we can accomplish here.